After a rough start this season, Cooper head coach John Wyndham has the Bucks ship headed in the right direction after a big win over Brownfield last week. So George Watson headed over to Cooper High School to visit with Coach Wyndham for this week's film session. For this week's film session, and we're uh, here at Cooper High School joined by Cooper coach John Wyndham. Coach, appreciate you letting us come into the film room this Thank week. Thank you, George. Appreciate you guys coming. The Pirates have struggled, but they come off a big win this week. <clears throat> get 44-8 over Brownfield, get that first win, get the losing taste out of the mouth. Coach, it's got to feel good for the kids to finally break through that barrier right now. Yeah, we definitely needed this one in the worst way, especially going into district. We have an open week this week to try to get things righted before Delhart and get some kids healed up. So it, it came at a good time for us. We needed it. You know, the, the injuries have really piled up. If, any, if anybody out here, you guys have been, you know, hit by, I think, not only the injury bug, but the, the injury swarm. Is, are the things finally yeah. starting to, to get back to normal or get as many back as possible as you can? We hope so. We, we think so. We're, we're, we're going to get, uh, hopefully, get Tay and DJ back uh, for the first district game and uh, get those guys back in, in shape this next week, and hopefully we'll be ready to go. But, uh, yeah, we've gone through some tough times, and, and just like everybody else, I know Friendship is going through it right now also. It's just part of the game. and. Some years you have it worse than others, and it's our, it's our year this year. I guess the silver lining in the whole deal is always, you know, with injuries, you're building depth. You're getting a lot of key young guys yeah. that are getting some, so a lot of playing time. For sure. That's exactly the way we look at it also because we do have, you know, we've built some depth, and now we know some guys have been, been tested, and if something happens in the future in a, in a district game, we can throw them right in there and not worry about it. Well, the offense really found its stride, I thought, this last week. Coach getting 44 points, putting up some big yards. You've been kind enough to, uh, to you know, stop a play here for us, a play that worked pretty good for you guys last week. Kind of take us through this play and what it is and what you do here. Well, what we call it, and, and a lot of teams run the same thing, but a lot of teams run it from under the center. I know Tech runs it from under the center. We call it a jet sweep, and all it is is some, some teams call it a fly sweep, and all you're going to do is, is bring a receiver in motion and hand him the ball fast and try to zone block everybody up here as, as best you can, get the edge. We use our tailback. Uh, usually we try to get him to cut this outside linebacker, but I, I don't know if in this case he may end up blocking this, this man right here. But it's a situation where if you want to get your kid on the edge fast, we use it, and it kind of spreads the defense out because we set up a lot of plays off of our sweep motion. We'll, we'll put the guy in motion and we'll try to hit them inside if their linebackers are flying outside, just like everybody else does. So we call this uh, 38 jet, and uh, it's, uh, the quarterback gives uh, his cadence, and, and the center has to snap the ball on the timing when the quarterback uh, claps his hands. And uh, it looks a little bit like this. It's not the best play of the game, but uh, it, uh, it got us some yards for us at this situation. And, uh, right now, it looks like uh, our defensive uh, our, our right tackle did a good job of getting a little bit of that piece of that guy. And then our tailback, as you can see right here, he's coming out to block this linebacker. And we cracked with our inside receiver. He's going, supposed to go into safety, but he missed actually on that. <laughs> but uh, uh, it, it looks a little bit like that. It got, you know, got us 10 or 12 yards on this situation. But the main thing this play does for us is it sets up our inside run play, inside zone play with our tailback. And we use the same kind of uh, jet motion off of it. But uh, that's 38 jet. And the kid, uh, you know, runs hard, makes some, some good hard yards for us. and. Uh, and uh, it worked out for us. So. Not only that, but, but broke a lot of tackles there. Yes. It looked like it's, yeah, yeah. And, you know, and it looks like, you know, it's one of those plays that even though, like you said, one guy, you know, one guy missed the safety or, or missed this, you know, that, that the other guys were able to kind of pick it up and, and, and it was able to, to still make the yardage it needed to. Exactly. Here's another angle at it. And you can see that the, the biggest block is our right tackle and our tailback. They have to get good blocks for this play to work. Everybody else he can outrun, hopefully. And our tackle gets a piece of him, and our tailback get, gets a good block, a piece of him, and, and then it's up to the, to the receiver to run hard and make some good hard yards. Yeah, they, they get and just enough. Good. You don't have to always just get them on the ground. You just have to get enough of them to, right. to slow them down and allow, allow the back to get outside and, and, and get the yards. That's exactly right. And when you can do that, you can make some good yardage on this, especially when they're, they're geared up and they're pinching. They, you know, right here they have, they have five guys on the line of scrimmage, six in the box with one middle linebacker, and. Uh, and uh, we, we can still get outside of them. So that, it's been a good play for us this year, and it sets up a lot of things. But that's our 38 jet right there. Sounds good. Well, it should be a play that the, that the Pirates will use throughout the season. It should be a play that they're going to have and they're going to need you know, for the district slate coming up. When we come back, I'll run down this week's games, and we'll go through my picks right here on the field.